Hi, Sam here from WriteSonic. In this video, I wanted to talk about our brand new feature, the AI Article Writer 5.0. This is the fifth iteration of our flagship AI Article Writer product. And this will let you create 100% factual on-brand content that will let you beat your competitors and rank on the first page of Google. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I'm here on the WriteSonic dashboard. I'll head over to this AI Article Writer 5.0 feature. Now, if you see my screen, uh, this might look pretty familiar if you have used any of our previous article writers, but the difference here is that we only have two steps instead of four steps as before. Now, how this works is uh, you would give some reference articles to WriteSonic. So there are three options to do, to do that. First is that you can enter in your topic, your keyword that you want to rank for, click the search articles button, and we'll scrape the top ranking uh, articles from Google which you can then select from. So that is one option. Uh, second option that you have is you can also upload your own files. So you can upload your PDFs, which can be your reports, your you know white papers, any kind of PDF files you can upload here. And the third option is you can also manually add some links. So you can add links to your previous content, your previous blog posts, articles, all of that can also be added here. Now, how this works is uh, let's start with the topic one. So I'll just enter the topic. So let's say chat GPT alternatives is my topic. I click the search articles button. And this brings me these uh, results from Google search results, which are ranking on the first page of Google. So in this case, I can then, you know, go and check out those articles as well. What is written there just to see how in depth they are and what kind of topic they are focused on. Once I like some of those articles, these can be my competitors, these can be some other uh, articles as well. So let's say I select this one, this one, and this one. Now what will happen is, WriteSonic will analyze these articles, it will scrape these articles, it will analyze what kind of content has been written there, what are the different sections, the subsections that have been covered there, what's the overall semantic structure of this uh, content as well. And then it will analyze that and try to create a new piece of content based on that. Same thing works if you're even uploading a file, if you're uploading your own links, same thing uh, happens there as well. So what I'll do is I've already selected some articles. I'll go to next step. Now in this step, I can add in some additional information. So for example, I can say chat Sonic is the best chat GPT alternative. And I can also enter in some keywords. So let's say if chat GPT alternative is one keyword, then I can add maybe GPT-4, chat GPT itself. So in here, the first keyword will be treated as your primary keyword. It will be used the most number of times in the generated piece of content. And then other keywords would be the secondary keywords, which would be used a couple of times in, in your uh, blog post flow. Now the next very, very big uh, feature that we launched here is the brand voice feature. I'll talk about it a bit more in detail uh, towards the end of the video. But basically what happens here is you can choose your brand voice. Uh, you can create your brand voice by uploading your previous content. WriteSonic will automatically an analyze that and come up with a synthesized version of your brand voice. And once you choose that brand voice here, that same writing style, that same structure and everything will be used to produce a new piece of content. Um, so in this case, I'll just select WriteSonic brand voice for now. And then I'll click the generate button. Now what will happen is we have analyzed those articles. We have uh, come up with the length of those articles and some other analysis. Um, you can choose which ones you want. If you still want to go with those three as your reference articles, or you can also choose maybe one or two, whatever you want. Click the confirm button. And from this point onwards, WriteSonic will start creating that new article based on that information that you uploaded before. So there you go. It even adds the images as well. So we you, we kind of get the images from some royalty free image sites like Pixabay. So all of these images are copyright free. And we even add the links here. All right, so as you can see, our blog post has been written. It's a pretty detailed blog post of about 1500 words. Uh, now you can go one step further, click the Sonic editor button over here. And this will let you edit your blog post even further with our AI writing tools. What I'll jump on to now is our brand voice feature that I was talking about. So click this brand voice uh, tab on the sidebar. This will take you to this brand new screen. 
um, where we let you create your own brand voice based on your previous content as I was talking about towards the start of the video. So I click on this new voice button. There are three options using which you can feed in some content to write Sonic. So you can add in some links, you can copy and paste some text or you can also upload some files. So here you can see I've added two of our write Sonic blog posts. Then what I'll do is I'll click the analyze button. So write Sonic will scrape these, uh, these pieces of content. Uh, it will analyze the tone and it will come up with a unique tone automatically. So you can, you'll see here. All right, so here you go. So this is the brand tone that Write Sonic has synthesized based on your previous content. You can of course make any changes as needed. You can enter in a name, so I can call it, for example, the Write Sonic blog voice. There's also an option to make this as the default setting for all the other features as well. So I'll click that, I'll click the create voice button. And there we have the voice. Now, as we were kind of discussing earlier, uh, you can go to the article writer 5.0 or 4.0 as well. Those are the two features where we have the brand voice available. And we are also adding support to other features in the next two to three days. So in here, now if you see the right Sonic blog voice has been selected. Similarly, you can have different voices maybe for your social media, for your um, newsletters, lots of different things. And this will ensure that any content that you are generating, it kind of follows that exact brand voice, that writing style that you usually follow in your own content. So that is it for this video. We hope you like this feature and do reach out to us if you have any feedback, suggestions or feature uh, requests as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.